What is going on guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I'm at Shrewsbury Prison and I'm going to be doing a self-guided tour. This is my first time in a prison and hopefully I never get locked into one of these places. Let's get straight into it guys, let's go. Are you a warden or a prisoner? I'm a prisoner. Then right this way miss. I need toilets. Do you know what his name is? Ed. So that's the naked chair, yeah? Yeah. If you go with the right, second paragraph or that's what it says about the chair. There. Second paragraph there. from the bottom. So look up all of them. They are strip searched and are sat on the bus. Bodily orifice search system. Bodily orifice. Search system. Mm -hmm. Would you like to take my clothes? Yeah. <laughs> it's not that uncomfy, it's quite comfy actually. You can sit here all day. Enjoy. Is it because it's hard? Yeah. So if you've got like a mobile phone shoved up your arse, <laughs> you'll, you'll be sitting on your mobile phone at least. Yeah. Oh, it kind of reminds me actually. <laughs> Totally illiterate, and on the day that he left, he was able to write his name fully on the license and take great pride in doing so. He was able to understand basic numeracy and basic literacy, and he felt able uh, to go out and face the world and be proud to do that. What is this? The ship's like a, a map like this. Like a nice type of thing, stabber. Yeah, but they've, they've made one out of a crucifix, which is just absolutely awesome. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! The governor wants to see you. How old do you reckon them biscuits are? And that packet of fruit. Oxygen and stuff. No, a bit basic in it. So. Now you've got a TV. So they didn't have toilets in them until 1995. Oh, so that's how they looked. That's how they looked before 1995. 1960, so. Even more basic. Look how the clothing is changed as well. Yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Oh, they're even older, the Victorian cell. Oh my god, it's ugly. Oh my god. Just two hammocks on the wall. Females have it a bit better. Look at the crucifix ship. Have they got a back? That bed. that bed looks a lot comfier than the hammock. And they've got a little table, a book, a little stool. Bigger bucket. Nicer clothes. And they got baby cuts. And a baby cut when they give baby. That bed doesn't look the comfiest, does it? Would you prefer the top or the bottom bunk? I think I'd prefer the bottom. I don't know. I think I'd go for bottom if I was in prison. This is what a cell would have looked like when the prison closed in 2013. You can see that this cell has been designed for two people. However, originally the prison cells were designed by the Victorians for only one prisoner per cell. At one point each cell held three prisoners with a set of bunk beds and a single bed inside. During this time Shrewsbury Prison was the most overcrowded prison in the country. The majority of the cells have vinyl floors, however, Prisoners on good behaviour could buy carpet for their cell. Sanitation wasn't introduced into the prison cells until 1995. Before then, each prisoner had a bucket and every morning they had to slop out. Prisoners could rent TVs for 50p per week. They were also allowed other items such as kettles, books, personal hygiene products, games, cigarettes and matches. 
Prisoners would mix together toothpaste and soap to make a glue, which was then used to stick cardboard in the corner of their cells, creating a small shelf. Some prisoners would use matches to build models. You can see some examples of these in the museum. Showers. Oh, it stinks in here. Mm -hmm. Smells like disgrace and dropped soap. Jesus. We get a lot on the bed. Not even a mattress again. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Are you getting ready? Just. You never know what's going to happen in the future. Do you? Kids. Big in the hairy pipe game and what? Call me. Anybody know Stella Ben of Kamek? Or Virtual of Stoke on Trent? Or Moped? Who the hell is Moped? I could work in a prison. But I certainly couldn't live in a prison. You think about like two people per room. It's not actually that many rooms, is there? No, but look how many floors you've got now. Yeah, it's got the ground floor, sec first floor, second, third. And there's what? It'll say at the end, I think it was on 40s down there, so. Mm. It's got to be no more than 150 rooms. That's 300 prisoners, isn't it? Imagine being nicknamed the T Boy. No. I feel like I would have been a T Boy. I can imagine you would. I do make a nice cup of tea, though. Yeah, this is more like it. I think I could feel quite cosy in here. Nice toilet. Sink. Oh, that what? is yourself. Why? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> the officer's pod. Unbreakable glass. Imagine being there when a riot kicks off. <laughs> I would still be scared. I'd just turn the radio up, I would just sit there tapping on the desk. Oh. <laughs> Big riot going on behind me, and I've just got the radio up on top of me. Eyes closed. I spoke briefly before, I think, in one of my vlogs about uh, Donald Nielsen, which is known as the Black Panther. He basically kidnapped a young girl because her family were rich and he held her for ransom money. He ended up being caught and he served time in prison. And I've googled any famous people that came to this prison and he was on that list, so. I was trying to find the actual cell number, but I couldn't find nothing online. There was a few other famous names on the list of people that have stayed in Shrewsbury Prison. Uh, the Great Train Robbers, there was a couple of names from that list. Been quite a few to be fair. Please don't shut this door. It's got a working lock on it, so if you shut it, it will lock. I was wondering if the prison closed because it's a 
a very, very old building and I think that it dates back to Victorian era. 19? Mm. 19? Yeah. I mean, 1793. Yeah. 1793, Victorian era. And a lot of the cells do have damp on the walls and mould setting in. Some of the cell doors do have biohazard labels on them, so I'm assuming they aren't really that safe to be in for very long. That is enough of a reason to close it down, but it ain't the reason why. It's simply because it's a very old-fashioned prison. It's very outdated and it's costing taxpayers a lot of money to keep it running. So the simple reason it closed was to house prisoners in more modern prisons. Mm. Oh, wow. Executioner's bedroom. So the person that performs the killings. The executioner would arrive at the prison the day before the execution was due to take place. On arrival, they would use the prisoner's height, weight and build, calculate the length of the drop, prepare the rope and test the equipment using a weighted sack. There is a weird, weird feeling down there, Sam, don't you? Do we have to feel sick since we came to this wing? I don't feel sick, but I feel like heavy. I've got a heavy, pressurised head. Look up. <laughs> I can't. Have I got to let you out or can you get out? You need to let me out. Can you actually not get out now? No. 